Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I want to show you guys how to get Souls of Light in Terraria. And Souls of Light are easy to get if you're just looking for one or two to progress the game, but a lot of people are unaware of how to actually get Souls of Light in large amounts. And pretty much you just need to make a farm in the hallowed biome in the underground cavern area. And that's it really. You just kill enemies and they'll drop Souls of Light. You can do this in the naturally occurring hallowed biome. You can make your own, which I've done here, and I can show you how to do that. And you can do it in hell, because hell is a very easy place to farm for souls in Terraria. But also, it can be a bit more dangerous to farm in, the, in hell, so you're probably better off making your own biome in the underground cavern area. So, what you do is you get pearl stone blocks and you make a mob farm. If you want to know how to make a mob farm, I have a video on it already. And pretty much you just stay in this area, kill enemies, and they'll drop souls of light. Souls of light are very useful for creating many things, including spawners for some of the mech bosses and some of the, like, the events that happen in Terraria. But probably one of the most important reasons to have lots of souls of night is for the key. And if you get the key of light you can get the daedalus storm bow and then you can progress on till the rest of the game or you could progress past plantera at least and you don't need daedalus storm bow for all of the mech bosses and for plantera but it is very very useful to have and actually you could even use the daedalus storm bow for the martian madness event so it's useful for very very large amounts of terraria anyway as you can see while we're yapping here there is lots of souls floating around on the screen and obviously I'm going to go pick them up and make sure you pick them up regularly actually don't farm constantly because they can disappear if you have too many items in one small area and stuff will start to despawn but there isn't enough items on screen right now for anything to despawn here so it's fine. And yeah pretty much we're just going to start picking up some of these and we're going to Use them to create keys of light, and we're good. If you don't want, uh, if you don't know how to use the key of light, you put the key of light into an empty chest, and then it becomes a hallowed mimic. And then the hallowed mimic can be killed for the Daedalus Storm, but one of the best items in the game. Speaking of which, if you are doing this farm setup, try not to move away from your computer. This isn't AFK. One of the reasons why is there are enemies that can get through walls. And if you're very unlucky, and it's very, very low chance that this is going to happen, if you disturb a hallowed mimic, which would be just off the screen, it will kill you, and you won't be able to get away from it. So try not to AFK farm for <laughs> Souls of Light. Try and stay ready to fight anything that goes through walls. And that's particularly when you're in the hallowed. You can, if you're in the surface, it's fine, generally. And if you're not using like dart traps, it's fine. But you. You just don't want to risk it. Some other things that you can get from here is the hallowed key, of course, and you can get the rod of discord, which is a very rare drop and a very, very useful item. So I'd recommend doing your souls of light in the cavern layer like I'm doing here. And that will just help you get some other key items in Terraria as well. And you can even get some items like the, the mirror from Medusa if you're looking for that, of course. You have to be near a marble biome for that. It's, she's not going to spawn naturally. You have to kind of put it next to a marble biome. Also try and have a nice good flat area as well so that you don't have to constantly be having enemies spawn underneath you. You are going to get some enemies spawning underneath you here, but it's not going to be anywhere near as bad if you make a nice flat platform. And some enemies are going to spawn above you as well because it's a bit, bit of a pain in the ass. Anyway, we're going to pick up these Souls of Light here at a moment. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of today's video. I'll see you again in the next one. And ta-ta!